Well, you're a busy girl. You've got a lot of holes in many... Po- lot of holes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of holes. I meant to say... You've got a lot of fingers and a lot of pies. I don't know if that's any better, to be <laughs> actually, honest. Actually, it's not. Actually, it's not. I mean, you're a busy girl. <laughs> Let's just end it there. <gasps> mm, hello, honeys, and welcome to Queer Epiphany. Our guest today is an author, broadcaster, creator, and you may know her from her time on Love Island. It's the hilarious, the iconic, and the gay! <laughs> Cheers. Oh, chin, chin, chin. Oh, thanks Ooh. for coming down to see us. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hear that cling. Gorgeous. Ooh. Music to my ears. Right, Amber, let's yeah. get into it, baby. We need to know, what is your queer epiphany? My queer epiphany is RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh, I've heard of that ah. show. I think I know that one. It's quite niche, I don't know. Uh, a, bit, a, bit mm. off, a bit on the nose. Yeah. <laughs> so, Amber. What was it about RuPaul's Drag Race that really spoke to you? Mm. It's got to be like the big personalities, people like choosing to do exactly what they want to do, yeah. being themselves. Everybody's just celebrated. Mm. In school, I was a very rogue rebel. People weren't getting it, like mm-hmm. the sense of humor. Okay. Like, no, because I was just by myself all the time. Like I had like one or two friends that got it. Right. But then school just hated it, didn't mm. want to go in, would like avoid. Yeah. And I remember I had like my little Netflix account and I had watched everything and then i saw this like drag racing and i thought well i'm not really into cars but i'll uh <laughs> I'll switch i didn't even know who rupaul was like never heard of anything yeah and i remember i put it on and i was like <gasps> yeah what is this like what is this calamity was just, is ensuing from Chaos the first episode i was like obsessed i was just like oh my personality is like fine mm-hmm. like I can be like this. Yeah. It made me feel more like sure of myself that, that was that I was doing the right thing. Cause yeah. I always was like, I don't care, I don't care. But it's kind of hard when you're on your own. Yeah. And you're only like 17, 18. I'm just figuring everything out. Yeah. yeah. Who's and I your think fave? Bob the drag queen was oh, definitely yes. my fave. I like yes. the dry sense yeah. of humor. Yeah. Cause you're quite dry. Mm-hmm. I am yeah. quite dry. Yes. Did drag race awaken your queerness? So not for like me personally, mm-hmm. but like as a, Ally yeah. at the time, mm-hmm. I was Look. like, yeah, ally. ally. Um, but I was just like, I love this, and like, there's a community, and I want to be part of it. Mm-hmm. And I was just obsessed, and that was like the start of my journey. What was the progression yeah. from allyship to queerdom? We don't know. Oh, like we really don't. We're know. figuring, out, we're figuring out right now. Right? Stay I've kids. got no idea. Mm-mm. Like. But there was just like a, a switch and I was like, oh, actually. It awoke in the intrigue. Yeah. And then I realized, like, I watch back on the shows that I've been on and I'm like, God, you're just yeah. like, you're so gay. Like, you really are really right. gay. Because um, that violence, you wasn't really feeling... Anyone, well, I don't really like, anyone it's at all, so... really. No. What were the clues on Love Island? Yeah. Yeah. Right, if I get some clips on TikTok, it's so painfully obvious. Like, everyone's like, oh, you're just really picky, or you're just this, you're just that. And I'm like, no, I just like this. Yeah. Like, definitely. Mm-hmm. But it just something wasn't clicking in my brain. Like, yeah. it yeah. just wasn't One of them was I was getting it. Yeah. it. Sometimes it's just like a series of clues that you're yeah. just like, you look back on, and the clues are there, but you just don't really look at them. The writing's and, on the wall. Yeah. But I can't like, understand it. I kind of think about when I was, you know, in my teens, and I knew I was trans, mm-hmm. but I didn't really pick up on the clues. Yeah. yeah. And then your life just needs to kind of take its turn, doesn't mm-hmm. it? And yeah. then you look back and you're like, okay, well, I mean, this is what was meant to happen all along. And I think when you're younger, there's so many other things to be concerned about. Oh, like, gotcha. do you know what I mean? Like you want to fit in or like, so yeah. I'm, I'm from Newcastle. I was like the only mixed race, mm-hmm. like black person in the year group. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I was like, I'm not going to add another thing for mm. people to like, single me out for or think she's so different. So I always think like maybe I did know and I just didn't want to acknowledge it at all. I think if I hadn't moved down to London, Mm. I don't know how quickly I would have noticed or how I would have London turns everyone to it. London that needs to be cancelled next, guys. (laughs) (laughs) Forget drag queen story time. So after winning Love Island, the media seems to be quite obsessed, I think it's safe to say, about your love life. What was it like coming out? What was the reaction? Mm. Overwhelmingly positive. I think like younger people coming into my DMs saying how like grateful they are that I mm. am like in the public eye and I've done it. So they feel more comfortable to tell their friends or tell their family mm-hmm. or they have actually done it because mm. of me. And I'm like, God, mm. I didn't know I was that like impactful. I get so much like, satisfaction 
from just people feeling more comfortable mm. in themselves. And if I can be of any help, then I'll shout it from the rooftop every day. You know? We love Get that. it there, girl. Yeah. Start shouting. <laughs> <laughs> I have such a nice group of followers mm -hmm. now, but I'd say like the media is not, not that nice. And no. I think that women, like queer women in relationships, just don't get taken that seriously, right. I feel. Mm -hmm. And like, I, have, I really felt that yeah. and it's Agreed. very frustrating. I think I've got to be really considered about everything that I say, mm. and I'm not. So mm. I made like tweets and sometimes I forget it's going to get picked up on. Because mm -hmm. didn't you come out on accident? Yeah, I said switching teams is the best thing I've ever did or something oh. stupid like that. Just right. like throw, like, because I'm just- Because you're not thinking about it, you're just being I'm just real like, in the uh, moment. Yeah. And I was being aggy, I was watching Love Island and I just sent oh, it and yeah. then it was getting loads of like traction and I was like, I probably shouldn't have said that. It is what it is. <laughs> but but it then is I was real. kind of it's glad because it yeah. was just, yeah. like I didn't have to sit and go, right, this is what I'm going to say or this is, I already said it. Like, not And people. if you never said anything, you never know what could have been. You exactly. Know? exactly. Mm -hmm. Did you experience any resistance given that you came from a straight dating show? Oh yeah, like mm. still even now. Really? Yeah, mm. people don't believe it. But like, you're just an attention seeker. Like you're trying to find this new thing. And it's like, what do they want you to do? It's like, kiss a girl in front of you. What is it? What do like, they yeah. need? What, what kind of proof do you need? Yeah, yeah. what do you need? Let me live my life. And like, I am so not attention seeker. Mm. Neither are we. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> not that yeah. ugly sisters. <laughs> Stop yeah. sexualizing our days. Yeah, my yeah. Right. yeah. No. We're getting married later. <laughs> Time's up and I want to know about it. Gay rights. Smile, have a ride. Forever. Never. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen because Love Island's such a like straight show. Mm -hmm. It was always going to happen. Probably the straightest show on TV. Why are we so going to see some little queer sprinkles in Love Island? That's what yeah. I want. What a gag as well, winning the straightest show on TV. Right, and I'm going to flip the script. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people always say. It was all like, you are lying on the show. I was like, I wasn't lying. I didn't no. like any of them. Like, Just it was to add, like, you see Can't that, a girl change your mind? <laughs> right? Come on, girl. Change right? clothes, change minds. <laughs> and now, it's time for what can and will only be called <gasps> the quick fire round. Amber, it's time to give RuPaul's Drag Race the party it deserves. And you've got 30 seconds to plan it. Starting now. Then you. Uh, heaven. Dress code. Camp and fabulous. Entertainment. Ooh. Trixie Mattel DJ in. Drink of choice. Cosmopolitan. Canapes. Uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, girl. Caviar. Seconds. Caviar. And what are we dipping it in? What are we dipping the canapes in? Jack of potato. Oh. 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 <laughs> karaoke song. Uh, karaoke song. Barbie girl. <laughs> Secret part. <laughs> oh, what is that? <laughs> what does that mean? Who knows? I mean, so we've got Trixie Mattel DJ. Mm -hmm. We're at heaven mm -hmm. and we're dipping, somehow, dipping caviar into Jack Potato. Yeah. I, for one, am very excited. Mm. When does the party start is the question, because right I'm ready. Now. Well, let's go. <laughs> I'm in the mood. <laughs> Venue. Where's the red light? No, what? that's the last <laughs> oh. <day. laughs> That's the end of it. Okay. It's season three okay. takes. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. Mm -hmm. I want to know when you kissed a girl oh, and yes. liked it. I can't even remember the details, but we were just like flirting and I was kind of like shocked. Mm. And I was like, what is really like, intrigued. Is this flirting? Talk us through those feelings. Yeah. You don't really know what's going on because uh. girls are just like nice to each other, like comment to each other, oh, I like your hair, mm -hmm. I like your makeup, whatever. And, but there was like a different energy and I was like, am I like, being crazy. Uh, <laughs> then when I left the place, I had a DM and I was like, okay. Okay. And then the time after that, it was a date. Was there anything that you saw back in the day that you were like, wow, like that is the queer me like coming through, like with any like iconic music videos? So it's all upon reflection, because at the time, no clue. Mm. Mm -hmm. But Britney Spears, oh. Me Against the Music with oh, Madonna. Oh, Madonna. Okay. Yes. And I just thought I loved the music because they had cute outfits mm. on and ties. I'm like, no, they That's were totally into each other. That was the point of the video. Very coded, that one. That and I, like one. now I watch mm. it and I'm like, that is so gay. Yeah. And I was obsessed with that mm. video. Didn't know why. You weren't the only one. No, that was no. good. I mean, I just wanted the outfits to be honest with you. So you discovered the queer community largely through RuPaul's Drag Race, but what was it like actually discovering the community in real life? Because I've seen you down Freedom, child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> seen you at brunch. I've seen you at Freedom. <laughs> the queer community thing, it was just a lot of fun and mm -hmm. I love having fun. 
I love being wild. And so when I came down here, I was like, anything that I can go to that is gay, like I'm there. So that's why, Same. that's how we met. And then one on one, me too. Yeah. Can you remember how we met, actually? It was a brunch. It was a which, drag I'm trying to be, brunch. I think it was a, was it the, I think it was a bougie drag brunch like years ago. I uh, watched you and I was like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. Mm. And I was like, oh my God, like. And we sounded like, good old like, Kiki. Drag race. And you were like, you told, it was inside. It was, yeah, it was, was like, I'm actually going on it. And I was like, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. What was it like for you on RuPaul's Drag Race? Horrible! <laughs> <laughs> it was a nightmare! <laughs> no, it was everything. Like, I had the best time on it. I mean, I've it's a show that I've always watched. Mm. Like, and I just remember as soon as it came to the UK, I was like, I'm going to get on this one yeah. day. Honestly, me going on there, I just wanted to show that I was a product of very supportive parents and that you can just let them, let them be who they are, let them do what they want. Am I allowed to say that you should have won as well? Oh yeah, you can go on if you want to. Yeah. Say it again, what? You should have won. Oh, thank yeah. you, girl, thank Shut you. Up. She's a winner, baby. Yeah, baby. Right. Right. I'm having the best time. Like, you can win the crowd and that's all great, but you can also win the crowd as well, baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she won the heart. Exactly. Yeah. The heart's sort the of thing that you need to win. But yeah, I had the best time and maybe I'll come back and do it again someday, who knows? I, I feel a lot more realized now. Yeah. I feel like when I watched myself back on it, it was like baby taste. I do feel the same about Love Island. Oh, you were? Well. Like, no, yes. when I watch it back, I'm like, I was such a baby. Oh, I thought mm. you were saying you want to go back. Oh, no, no, yeah. no. Would you not? <laughs> Don't say that. Well, I can't, what it's if a it, date and you have a relationship. Of of yeah, well, I'll go I mean, What if they flip the script on it, you know, and they have yeah. put some girls into the mix, some gay, some queers, if, you know, would you? Because Megan you Barton Hansen said that if it was a bi Love Island, mm. she would go back on. Yeah. And like, what if we had like a, a gal's island or something? Mm. For me, I went on and I won the show, so what, what can I do? Back, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Crown emoji. <laughs> So it's time to gaze into our queer still ball. And I want to know from you, what do you think the future looks like for queer women? Oh, that makes me so happy. I think it's going to be amazing. Oh, amazing. Yeah, like I can already so start to see like a change mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. um, even like bisexual women as well. I wouldn't categorize myself, but that's what people think that I am. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of like, um, not understanding about that, but I think we're slowly getting there. Mm. The future's bright for the queer girls, you know. Exactly, bringing it to the queer so. girls. Mama. I'm so glad I'm part of it. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, you're a good addition to the group, but I love baby, that Come group. on, it's you. The most important thing is mm. like, find your people. Like you might not fit in in certain situations and that's mm. fine. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have to fit in everywhere. Exactly. So just find your community, find your people. My bag, it's like- oh! I'm like sitting on it. I just Ow. heard this like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. We've arrived at the part of the show where we enter RuPaul's Drag Race into the LGBTQIA. A profound moment indeed. This, of course, the legendary giant book, the Quipiphanies are immortalized in for always. For always. Amber, it's a great honor and the floor is yours. I'd like to thank RuPaul's Drag Race for being my Quipiphany for allowing me to be my weird and wonderful self and also the queens for unapologetically being their fierce selves. Thank you so much. That was a quality moment. Sure. And darling, we want to give you a little token of our appreciation, a little thank you mm. for coming down to say hi. It's our brand new Queer Epiphany t-shirt, only available on our website. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Aren't you excited, Amber? Oh, Look at it. What do you think? We put a lot of hard work into this. Blood, sweat and tears went into this. Mm. Spenny. Mm. Spenny, honey. Spenny. It's gorgeous. Mm. Sniff that. <laughs> <laughs> That's just what I wanted. Thank you so much. You don't look excited. Yeah. No, I, I'm so excited. You can at least fake I'm, a smile. I'm, Your face ain't showing it. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what we want to see. 
Wow, that was absolutely amazing. Smashing, fantabby dozy. Thank you so much for coming in, baby girl. Thank you for having us. Thanks for coming down to see us. Yes, nice to see. Yes, let's cheers again. Let's cheers again. Gay rights. Gay rights. Yes. Trans rights. Yes. If you've been affected by anything we've discussed in this episode, or you just want a bit more information, visit the sites on screen now. And if you fancy it, you could make our dreams come true. And like and subscribe. 